want to talk about our opponent. They're bigger, faster, stronger, more experienced. And on paper, they're just better. And they know it, too. But I want to tell you something that they don't know. They don't know your heart. This is Patchwork Heart Ministries' Young Catholics Respond, brought to you by Breadbox Media. Now, here's your host, Bill Snyder. Thanks, Adam, and welcome, everybody, to Young Catholics Respond. I am Bill Snyder. It's wonderful to be with you, and thank you so much for uh, tuning in today, no matter how you're listening, whether it's on YouTube or Podbean or some other podcast app. We appreciate you tuning in and listening to us. Know you can always reach out to us at info at patchworkheart.org. That's our email, uh, and we love to hear from you. Uh, also, uh, check out our website, patchworkheart.org, uh, for more information about our ministry. Um, today, I have a wonderful guest. Her name is Shauna Arnold, and uh, she is a Catholic author. She's a Catholic speaker. She has shared her testimony in high schools, churches, and wherever she's invited to go. She's been on the At Home with Jim and Joy on EWTN, and um, she has a wonderful new book out uh, entitled A New Heart. So, Shauna, welcome to Young Catholics Respond. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to talking about all you have going on. I thank you so much for inviting me to your program. I appreciate it. I've been on before, so I appreciate the second invite. It was, it was very great to have that. Yeah, it is. This is wonderful. And so, um, you know, we uh, I think we spoke like maybe during the height of the pandemic, the last time we are right, right, right in, at the beginning of it, I think was when the last time we spoke. Um, and um, so. How has the pandemic uh, been for you? How has it changed uh, some of the uh, things in in your world? And um, obviously, it's produced uh, a new book for people. So uh, just give us a little update on your ministry. Well, I was at um, going into schools and, and starting to speak at uh, more and more places at the time. And, and then the pandemic hit. So things were kind of at a halt. And then actually in the midst of the pandemic, I was diagnosed with two autoimmune diseases, Mm -hmm. which are ankylosing spondylitis and psoriatic arthritis, which are crippling and can cause a lot of um, problems in in my organs and throughout my body. Um, So basically I have to start uh, treatment, which is immune therapy. So my immune system suppressed at the moment. So I'm not really feeling comfortable going out and and doing the things I was doing at the time because of the virus. And right now I'm basically just uh, at home. I just started a new podcast on YouTube and my book is out called A New Heart, My Story of Abortion, Addiction and Conversion. Mm. And there's many reflections and prayers in there along with my testimony. So I'm trying to get... um, more things out virtually from home, which, which I'm very capable of doing at this time and very grateful to be doing. Yeah. Um, you know, that's what, a, what some challenges you had, right. You know, I mean, the, with, with, uh, health related challenges, um, you know, how was the Lord, um, you know, pressed into you during, during this time? Have you found yourself growing closer in faith? Obviously when you start writing, you know, a new book and doing all of these different activities, new podcasts and things like that. Um, the Lord often draws you closer to him, right? Like he draws you closer to him. Uh, talk a little bit about how um, he has, he has worked, you know, to, to give you that new heart uh, over, over the course of uh, the past several months. In all honesty, um, before the pandemic hit, I already had on my heart in to pray two rosaries a day. And I was normally doing one all all the time. And I I just had this on my heart to do more praying. So I was doing two prayer, two rosaries, um, the mercy chaplet and other prayers just for the world to begin with before this even hit. And, and then when I was diagnosed with my illnesses, um, I went through a little bit of a, a rough start with hearing the diagnosis. Um, I was first of all, shocked, uh, I went through a series of feeling sorry for myself, um, crying, you know, poor Shauna attitude, uh, a little bit of that I I went through. Um, 
I got closer to God um, by actually seriously surrendering <laughs> my life into his hands and to keep having to, to say that daily. And then also too to go through a phase of, okay, like I have to admit, um, I'm afraid of, of dying, <laughs> you know, uh, fear of death is something I have to admit came over me, you know, cause these illnesses are linked to death and can be right. So I had to go through a whole series of surrendering my life completely into God's hands and trusting him even more. And it's not just words. I had to physically do that. And so, yeah, it's, it's definitely brought me closer to God that way. And I can just see such an improvement from being diagnosed in, in January to now September. And I am actually living one day at a time. Mm. I, I never thought I could actually appreciate each day, you know, for what it is, because I really do appreciate each day. Now I recognize how grateful we need to be when we have good health. Mm. Yeah. We need to recognize that and tr be truly, truly thankful for that blessing because that's a blessing many overlook. Yeah. And so, yeah, it made me, my eyes really open up to, to things I need to be grateful for. You know, that's incredible. And, and that's beautiful that the, that the Lord um, ha has really um, shown you that and, you know, draw and drawing you close to him through um, you know, the, the diagnosis and all of those things. And, and, but what's, what's amazing is though, that he doesn't call you just to stay there. You know, I, as you mentioned, you kind of went through the, Oh, poor Shauna thing. I think everybody does. When you, when you hear that news, you, everybody goes through that. Like, um, you know, like I, I'll never forget when I had my third open heart surgery and I had to hear that news, Bill, well, you got to have this open heart surgery and you're sitting there, you're going, well, why me? Right. Uh, I think I think everybody that from every uh, person that's ever been diagnosed with cancer or any major health issue, you have that moment where you're like, oh, poor me. Why is this happening to me? And um, but but the amazing thing that happened for you, too, is that God didn't call you just to stay there. He called you to do something with it, you know, and, and through the prayer, you know, through, uh, doubling down on your rosary and all the other different prayers that you, that he had you do, um, you know, now it's led you to this different outreaches, right? So, uh, tell us about the, the book, a new heart. And then of course we'll get into the podcast too, that you've got going on, but tell us a little bit about the new book, a new heart and how that came to be. Well, I added up my, my story, my testimony is in the beginning of the book. And about over half of the book is also prayers and reflections that I've been writing for many years. And I have them on my on my web, website as well. Um, but I was actually appro approached by a publisher and asked if I was interested in publishing some of my writing. And, and lo and behold, uh, I actually had everything pieced together. And this idea was always on my mind to include these prayers and reflections down the road. And I'd have different people tell me throughout my life, you know, those are, those are pretty good writings. Like you should actually maybe get a book and collect them and make a book of it. And well, here and here it happened. And it, and it wasn't by my own doing, it just kind of was something that the Holy spirit put into my life. You know, the door just opened up and that you can't, you can't even question things like that when the door just opens up, you know, it wasn't a forced door. It was an open door. So I just went with it and, and it's, and this is what's come of it is this, is this new book. So I'm very grateful for that, that, you know, one door closed with the speaking per se and another door opened with a new book. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, that's incredible. And uh, so how, how do people, uh, you know, get it? And do you have any, um, you know, favorite parts of the book that you might want to direct people to uh, certain prayers or certain things that, you know, just the Holy Spirit says, you know, what, really read this one, really pay attention to this, to this reflection. I'm, I think they're all pretty good. But, but what I would, what I think would happen is I think if people can relate to my story, which, which I'm sure a lot of people will, I think once they start reading these reflections they will they will definitely pick up on them as to how they can 
it, it, it will correspond with their life because they will recognize what I'm talking about. When you've been through the things I've been through, some of your patterns and behaviors are very similar to, you know, with what you're going to be reading in these reflections and prayers. So you, you're going to understand that it isn't just an automatic, automatic healing and automatic life goes on. It's always a daily walk. Every day we got to try to do the best we can regardless. And we're going to fall down. <laughs> and then we got to get back up and pick ourselves back up. And, and it's always going to be a journey like that. It's like they say, it's always a long, narrow road on your walk to Christ. You know, it, it, that's basically what it is. It's not everybody doesn't have this jumping through the fields of roses kind of uh, conversion story all the time. You know, sometimes it's, it's basically going back to um, having to always surrender everything, you know, trust, building up trust with God. When you come from a life like me, you have to build trust and to trust in God takes time. Yeah. And it's, and it takes a lot of time really when you've been wounded and hurt in your past. So each day when you give God a piece of your life, you know, you're surrendering a part of your life to him. He looks at that. And he is so very, very pleased with you, mm. you know, so it's always a matter of one-on-one -on -one communication with God, you know, keeping God in the center of your life and never, never giving up on yourself, never giving up on yourself and starting to see who you are and how much God loves you because he created you for greatness. You are not not a horrible person or you know you are not trash that you are priceless that you are a gem yes. and that god loves you <laughs> sincerely absolutely you know i just can't stress that enough is how much because when i because i grew up with not being told i was loved you know or, or not being treated in a, in a way i should have been treated so uh, to get where i am today and to see myself the way God sees me is only a miracle in my eyes. Because mm. I hold my head up high now, you know, because I know God loves me. And that's so beautiful. I want to encourage people uh, because we don't have time in this episode to be able to do it. Uh, but uh, Shauna's previous episode on Young Catholics Respond uh has her testimony basically um you know it, it may be a little bit abbreviated there too so i encourage you to get a copy of her new book um a new heart as well but um go back and listen to the podcast episode because uh it'll give you wonderful context um about just your story and um how how much the lord has um you know, really changed and transformed uh, her life. So uh, go and uh, check that out um, on our podcast feed back in our history. You can just simply search uh, Shauna's name. It should pop right up for you. Uh, but right now I have to take a short break here on Young Catholics Respond. When we come back, we're going to continue talking with Shauna um, about uh, this and so much more, especially the new podcast that she has going on on YouTube. So right back after these messages here on Young Catholics Respond, I'm Phil Snyder. The words spoken by Our Lady of Guadalupe to Juan Diego nearly 500 years ago are almost too good to be true. Asking that a temple be built at the site of her apparition, she promised that here I will give all my love, my compassion, my help, and my protection to all those who love me, cry to me, seek me, and who have confidence in me. Here I will listen to their weepings and alleviate all their sufferings, necessities, and misfortunes. My name is Alan Napleton and I live in Dallas, Texas. I have visited her shrine in Mexico City dozens of times, bringing my own petitions and have found Our Lady to be true to her word. Over the years, I have brought hundreds of pilgrims to this holy place without incidents and have now founded Viva Guadalupe, a nonprofit that provides safe and inexpensive pilgrimages to Our Lady's shrine. If you would like to take our Blessed Mother up on her promise and learn more about how you can visit this special place of grace, please visit vivaguadalupe.org for more information. Judy Hare was a bankrupt, homeless, drug-addicted college dropout on the brink of divorce, but is now a seminary graduate and devoted wife and mother of four children. What happened? Find out 
in her autobiography, Shattered, How God Restored My Heart and Life. Her journey of faith has been called brutally honest, truly inspiring, profound, heartbreaking, and life-changing. Shattered is available now for only $15 on her website, judyhair.com, on amazon.com, or at your local Catholic bookstore. As Judy says, it is never too late to become the person you deserve and desire to be. So stop wishing for change and start doing something about it by reserving your copy of Shattered Today. Today, many students go to college with numerous questions about their faith, yearning to know if the seed planted in them as a child is both true and practical. Using the miracle on the road to Emmaus as a model, young adult ministers conversed weekly for three months with college students about the most pressing questions they had about the Catholic faith. As they journeyed together virtually, something amazing happened. Doubts disappeared. Fears faded, and Jesus revealed that he is still alive. Hearts Burning Within Us, the latest book from Patchwork Heart Ministry, is a result of that grace-infused conversation. It is the perfect back-to-school gift for recent high school graduates and current college students. Get your copy for them today at patchworkheart.org or by calling 424-704-3278. That's 424-704-3278. Patchwork Heart Ministry is committed to sowing hope into broken hearts by helping young people encounter the love of Jesus Christ and His Catholic Church through prayer, storytelling, and media initiatives. We invite you to prayerfully consider supporting this mission financially. Mail your tax-deductible donation to Patchwork Heart Ministry at P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, zip code 53147, or visit patchworkheart.org to donate online. That's Patchwork Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, 53147, or online at patchworkheart.org. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Welcome back to Young Catholics Respond. Once again, Bill Snyder. Hey everybody, welcome back to Young Catholics Respond. Today my guest is Shauna Arnold. She is a Catholic author and speaker uh, and now a uh, podcast host. Uh, and uh, it, it's wonderful. She's got a new podcast on YouTube. I encourage you to check it out by simply uh, searching her name, Shauna Arnold, on YouTube, but before we get to that, Shauna, you know, I want to ask you just a little bit about the, um, you know, how, we, you know, we talked a lot about people being broken and hurt, and you know, surrendering portions of their lives to God, and God is very pleased when you surrender that portion of your life to Him, and it's, you know, and it's a gradual process. Um, there can be somebody out there listening to this right now. The the Holy Spirit always makes divine appointments, I believe, with podcasts, uh, you know, as, as people listen to this uh, stuff, sometimes the Holy Spirit just wants to hit them square between the eyes, and it's not, it's not your words or my words, it's, you know, his, his word flowing through us, and so I, I'm just wondering, you know, if somebody's out there and they're, they're, you know, they're feeling broken and just disgusted with themselves and, you know, just really down, um, you know, what what is that one little thing that would be a tip you might give to them to surrender a you know a, a portion of their life or a situation that they're going through um, to to God so that it's handled. Well, definitely, I would suggest praying from the heart and speaking to God with your heart and with your in a verbal prayer, as well as telling Him your emotions and your feelings and and how you're feeling. But I honestly can say I got a lot of help from having like a, a good support person or, or somebody in my life I could phone and talk to as well. Um, if you have a good friend you can talk to, I, I suggest people speak to somebody, especially when they're really down and hurt, because there's nothing worse than 
carrying that by yourself, you know, pray, pray, definitely first thing, pray, but it's also good to have communication with, with somebody and, and, and translate your feelings to them and, and, you know, have an open dialogue about things because bottling stuff up is not good. And I, I bottled stuff up for many years and then one day, boom, the volcano exploded. I know now that when something's bothering me, I have to voice it and, you know, in a, in a healthy way, but it's always good to voice it to somebody, especially if it's bothering you and gnawing at you and eating at you, you need to talk to somebody. You know, that's great advice. Um, you know, and it, it, it is so important that, it, if something is drawing on you, you know, maybe, maybe there's somebody out there listening right now that's got that going on um, and find a trusted friend and just speak it, speak it out into into the open. You know, uh, there's that quote that says, you know, uh, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Right. Uh, and so and so bringing things out into the open, allowing them off uh, your your chest. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but, you know, the other thing, too, is um, w- once we speak it out, we've got to fill it with something good, too, right? Like, that's the other big piece. And we, we leave that hole. We get it out of our chest. It comes out. we got to fill it with something different than what we've been filling it with, right? And so, you know, uh, one of the things that I think that, you know, you're you're doing is is creating content to help fill those holes, you know. Uh, you got the new book, which is wonderful, uh, a new heart. But then uh, you also got this new podcast where you're uh, speaking some of these uh, prayers and reflections into um, in, into cyberspace so that people can listen and uh, grow in faith. And so I, I'd love it if you would talk a little bit about um, you know the podcast and you know what what it what it is and how people can um, you know get to it and all that stuff and. Um, what you're looking forward to building with it. Yeah, I think the links you're going to provide on the bottom of your of this program. So the links will be there. If not, they'll be on my website, shaunaarnoldblog.wordpress.com. Under the about page, there'll be links to the podcast. But this is just something I, I developed this week um, with encouragement from a friend uh, to, to do this. So what I've been doing is I've been taking a reflection and a prayer out of my new book. And that's about a minute to two minutes long. And I've been recording them. So each day I've been putting one out there. Um, who knows what, what formats or, or other ideas I'll come up with in, in a couple of weeks down the road from now. But this is just something I had on my heart to do. And, you know, I was encouraged as well um, to do it. So, yeah, it's, it's brand new. And I'm, I'm hoping people will, will uh, subscribe and uh and that they would get something out of it, you know, and, and then that would, it would touch them in some way and draw them closer to Jesus. So that's, that's my main goal is to bring people closer to Jesus. And, and to be honest with you, my heart is so, my heart is so open to, and, and my heart hurts for people who are suffering, um, people who are in dysfunctional um, relations or home lives, um, people who feel like they're just not adequate, people who feel like they're not enough. Um, my heart hurts for those people. And I really want them to know that they are special. Like, I can't stress this enough. You are loved by God. And I, I know this because I was at the bottom of the barrel. I came from a hard life. And, you know, if it wasn't for God touching me, I wouldn't be who I am today. I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. I couldn't even look at people in the eye. I, did, I didn't like myself at all. And now today, I'm a new creation. And I want other people to have that. I want other people to enjoy their lives and to love themselves and to know they have worth. And I, I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but it just... <laughs> For me, I, I just can't stress that enough. That the, that is why I do what I do. It's for those people. So, yeah, and you know, you are one hundred percent spot on. Uh, for for people out there listening right now, I want to read just the titles of your podcasts. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you know, that you have up there. You know, these are the little reflections that uh, Sean is posting on her YouTube. And they're little audio reflections, and they're beautiful. Uh, the names of them are just Grace, Praise His Name, Help the Lost, Give It All to God, Keep Your Eyes on Jesus. And again, she's doing these daily. Um and it's and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, by the way, and whatever the you know first week of you're doing your podcast, you already have ten subscribers on YouTube. Um, and so I, I encourage you to head over to uh, Shauna's website um, and you know get onto the uh, YouTube. I'll also make sure I link it out on the YouTube version of this show. Uh, it'll pop up uh, to subscribe to her uh, channel probably right now as I'm talking, so you can just click that button and uh, it will uh, take you to her channel and that way you can subscribe to it. But um, yeah, I mean, again, the, the and, and I've listened to these and, you know, you are just incredibly real. You know, you're just like just like you just heard her, um, you know, talking and pleading, you know, with with you um, is, is how she is. And, you know, that's that's the best kind of, you know, uh, fresh, honest perspective that I think we need in this crazy world right now. And, and so, um, you know, God bless you for doing this. Uh, and, uh, and, and thank you for taking the time to put this content and speak this content out there. It is so important. Um, you know, and, and you are doing great work and I know it's going to touch hearts. Thank you so much for those those words of encouragement. I greatly appreciate them. But it's all God's all God's honor and glory that he uh, that he transformed my life. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. You know, I have to honestly admit that. So if you only knew me back back in the day to who I am now, like I even have old friends actually been contacting me. Um, over the past uh, year and saying, I, I can't believe that, you know, you are who you are and that you've done these things, you know, like they're, they're even amazed. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's the work of God and God can do this for anybody that's open to coming to know him, opening up their hearts. He's at the door and he's standing there. And this is the picture I have in my mind right now. I adore him standing at the door with his hand up, ready to knock on the door of your heart. Mm. And he wants to come in. So I'm just, I'm just hoping that more people will be open to having God in their lives and, and just being amazed at what he's going to do with them. Yeah. Just being amazed by yeah. what he can do <laughs> because I'm proof he can do something amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, absolutely. Uh, this is, this is awesome. I, I'm definitely going to have to have you back on uh, the program, Shauna, because uh, you just have incredible, um, you know, you know, incredible spirit and you, and you're really, really, truly want to help people, which is so beautiful. Uh, and, and so rare in today's world. Um, your, your website again is very simply Shauna Arnold blog dot wordpress dot com. And, uh, if you head over there, you're going to find, uh, Shauna's book. You're going to find, uh, the podcasts. You're going to find her contact information so that uh, you can reach out to her uh, all on the website. Uh, but Shauna, I really, really, really appreciate you coming on today and just sharing with our audience and look forward to having you back on. Thank you very much. And you have a really good week yourself. And thank you so much for this opportunity. Absolutely. Well, folks, uh, that's all the time we have today for Young Catholics Respond. But I really do hope uh, you have a wonderful week. And until next time, from all of us here at Patchwork Heart Ministry, I'm Bill Snyder. Keep beating to your Catholic heart. You've been listening to Young Catholics Respond, a radio initiative of Patchwork Heart Ministry. To learn more about our ministry and program, visit us at patchworkheart.org. Or to get exclusive access and early ministry updates, become our patron on Patreon by searching for Patchwork Heart Ministry. Did you enjoy this podcast? Listen to other podcasts from Patchwork Heart Ministry by following Patchwork Heart Radio wherever you listen to podcasts.